Hey, how's it going everybody? Chef Sheldon Simeon here in the backyard of my home in Wailuku, Maui. I've got a new cookbook coming out, Cook Real Hawaii. Speaking about my upbringing here in Hawaii, all about the beautiful people, the beautiful culture, and the best thing, the grinds and the food that we have here in Hawaii. Me alongside uh, Garrett Snyder, Worked very hard on this book, poured my heart into it, sharing stories, recipes through the years, and uh, it's all in there. Go and check it out, and uh, I hope you guys like it. So yeah, I'm um, supposed to do this uh, cookbook shoot. I had all this whole crazy spread for today, but... Uh, you own your own business, you run a restaurant, <laughs> some things change and I had to actually go to work this morning and uh, cook in the kitchen. Uh, but we're home, we're gonna make do with it and uh, I think the recipe that we're gonna do is, is kind of perfect. It's Sunday, it's usually my day off and uh, I like to lounge around, you know, crack a few beers, enjoy the family. We got the jacuzzi going, so I wanna be able to enjoy that very soon and this is this recipe right here is one of those dishes that super easy gets done in just a few minutes and then uh, you can enjoy it um, we're gonna be making tailgate squid with lomi um, and it's a dish that uh, i remember just having with my dad guys and my uncles something that actually like Put the squid on the grill. It, it's done in a few seconds once the coals are on. And they're sitting down and have poo poos. So we're gonna do that. A little bit green onion for garnish. Throw away the tips. I don't know, old school style, you book the tips off. <laughs> I would always get scoldings for not. Not uh, not pulling off the tips from the green onions. Okay, first thing we will make is the the lomi tomato to put on top. You ever pull out the core? I mean the the center of the thing. Take your thumb like that at the beginning of the knife. Stick it in there and just turn the tomato. I see some guys trying to hold them in their hands like this. Yeah, you know, don't want to stab yourself. I'm just gonna cut that into small little dice. Everybody like lomi lomi. There's something about cooking on the back of a truck. You know, whether it's like at a softball game or down at the beach, you know, tailgating. Uh, I think it's a normal thing to do. Like a super easy dishes like this makes it fun that you can actually prepare super fresh right on the bed of your truck. Try to get them all perfect over there. Look a little bit extra for poo-poo's on the side. This is way more than what we're gonna need for the squid. That's all right. All right. And put that into our bowl. Oh, check the chickens. <laughs> Next stop, just gonna do the same with the onion. Cut the same size. Cut them in half. Cut them into these rainbows. I like to say. Cut them into these rainbows. And you see all the layers. They're like this, right? So you're gonna follow your knife that has these lines on it. You see the. You see those lines. Your knife's gonna follow it. It's like a guideline for dice your, dice your onions. Put some green onions in there. It's thinly sliced. Put it in there. I'm gonna save some of these for garnish afterwards. With some salt, some pokai.
forget black pepper. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab black pepper. <laughs> Get them. Okay. Almost there. Just a little bit of black pepper inside. I'm just going to let this mix. Mix them up. That salt's going to start to leach the water from the tomatoes kind of make its own sauce but uh, that's pretty much it just some tomato lomi tomato onion now we're gonna make some sauce that's gonna go on top of the this was always a fun thing you know like when you hibachi i remember as a small kid that was like one of the first things that the uh, responsibilities that you get is for mix sauce for when you go barbecue and everybody had their way of enough shoyu enough vinegar some tabasco but uh just backyard style if you get chili pepper water you can use chili pepper water you can get some slab my hawaiian chili pepper water right here but uh if you know more fancy kind of stuff like that we just gonna make some show you apple cider vinegar and some tobasco some hot sauce on top of that and i'm gonna put a little bit of uh, lemon olive oil into here Let's see, give that a taste. It's a little bit more vinegar. We're good. Sauce for the squid. At the market, I just got some of this big squid, like here, right here. Look at this. Super cheap. Feeds a lot of people. Cooks super fast. And super tasty. I mean, most of the time you're gonna find it uh, it's frozen but if you can find fishermen you know some of the ahi fishermen this is what they use to catch ahis and do uh, ikashibi they found out the uh, old fishermen in Hilo used to put this on and then uh, just bugger catch ahis but uh, for today the bait becomes poo-poos so I'm just gonna take a little bit put some paper towel I'm gonna try to damp it get it as dry as possible uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of just some some canola oil it can be vegetable oil uh, plain olive oil something that uh, just to keep it from sticking on top of the grill I'm gonna season it heavily with uh, some garlic salt Everybody get garlic salt here, especially in Hawaii. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper, just cause. And get our grill ready. So I'm gonna put the squid down right over those hot coals. A moment to make sure we get seasoned all the way through it's gonna take literally this first take about one minute on each side just like that once you get it cooked halfway I'm gonna turn it to the belly side and take our knife And cut it open and pull it to the side right here and cut the tentacles off just like that and pull the guts out it's easy then you get this piece just like this make sure you get that plastic piece out don't want that oh my eyes oh, we're really cooking here <laughs> put that side on the grill 
that's gonna take another minute or so you can see how the the legs are starting to firm up like that once they start to stand up they start to get firm it's pretty much done we're just gonna slice it up now you can see how it's uh nice and firm now still 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 rare but cut into these 10 pieces just like this I love it you see the contrast of the ink and the tender white inside now the legs just gonna take the individual in the middle there's this beak that you want to avoid I'll take the beak out and lay it flat and then we'll cut in between each leg individually like that Chloe <laughs> <laughs> oh well and take our lomi it's been sitting it's a little bit over the top just like that show you vinegar tabasco lemon oil pour it over the top Maybe green onions. Maybe some black pepper for make it look fancy. There it is. Hibachi squid tailgate action. Ready for poo poos. <laughs>